Hey everyone, in this episode of Proud TV, we're going to have a room tour of the broadcasting room. We're going to have a March Madness segment. Seg- we're going to have a March Madness. And then we're going to have an Easter time with Brady. Let's Let's get on with it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the broadcasting room. Um, so my plan is to do another tour, um, because a little bit has changed since last semester. So I just want to show you what it will look like for next year when I'm gone and people will take my place. So it's going to be a little bit shorter than last time because not much has changed, but I'll just show you. Last time I said we didn't use these lights that go there. And we still don't, but now we have these. These are our new lights. So if I go like this, see, that's on. You know how lights work. I have the computers and stuff. And last time I said we didn't do much on these, but now this is my main one right here. This is my main computer. Oh, you see I'm watching YouTube and being very productive. So if you notice, this whole thing is now a table. That's because there was a table right there and I just put it here. It was here, but that's a lot of space. And like I said, it's a pretty short thing, but not much has changed. So I just want to let y'all know what has happened and new things we get. Um, we use all of it and we're very thankful. For so everything that you see on the YouTube, it all happens here. Speaking of, let's go to the next segment. Hello everyone, my name is Brady. You probably already knew that. So it's March. March brings a lot of things. Mayflowers, I think. It brings us a whole new holiday. It brings us St. Patrick's Day. And it also brings us basketball. Specifically NCAA basketball. And if you're not a sports fan and you don't know what that means, that means that's the college level. That's the college level basketball. And what people like to do who watch that basketball is they like to do the brackets. So if you ever heard the term March Madness, that's where it comes from, is everybody from everywhere uh, picks out a bracket from the teams of 64 and they see who comes to the top. So there's a round of 64, then there's the 32, then there's a Sweet 16, Elite 8, Final Four, then the Final Two, and then you have your winner. Right now, currently recording this, it is a day before the people in the Sweet 16 play. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to give my thoughts about uh, the March Madness and who's going to win, um, just because I think it's fun. Then we'll follow up later days to see uh, if I was right or if I was wrong. So for 2022, the 16 teams that are playing are Gonzaga, Arkansas, Arizona, Houston, Texas Tech, Duke, Michigan, Villanova, North Carolina, UCLA, Kansas, Providence, Purdue, St. Peter's, Iowa, and Miami. Now if you're an avid college basketball player or watcher like myself, uh, you recognize some of those names like Gonzaga, Duke unfortunately, uh, North Carolina, they, they come every year. Um, but some of those you don't see every year, like, like St. Peter's, the 15th seed, it's one of the only 15th seeds that go to the Sweet 16, and it's things like Houston. Now, I have done a bracket. I think, I think Houston's gonna win. Now, I know they're going against uh, Arizona, which is a number one seed, and they're number nine, but like I said, it's emotions, and you never know. Uh, just like St. Peter's being the 15th seed, they've gone all the way. So I have faith that they can do it. Another one I'm gonna look out for is Michigan. Uh, I had Michigan going the whole way, another one of my brackets. Um, I'm not too sure about them because they're playing Villanova, which is a second seed, and they're also a common uh, player in the March Madness. So I'll, be, I'll come back with you after the Sweet 16, and we'll see if I was right or if my teams are still there. If they aren't, I'll pick a new team to follow through. Um, so I'll see you then. And we're back. Um, so as of recording this video, it is March 28th, and... I'm dumb. I didn't realize that the Elite Eight played on the weekend, so I couldn't really, you know, give my thoughts. But just a few highlights. St. Peter's made it to the Elite Eight. Uh, Houston, the team that I wanted to, made it to the Elite Eight. And North Carolina made it to the Elite Eight. 
Um, so right now, as of May 28th, it's the final four, and that is North Carolina, Duke, Kansas, and Villanova. So obviously my team didn't make it. They made it to the, the Elite Eight, but they didn't make it to the final four. So I think that uh, Duke is going to win the whole thing. I think uh, the UNC and the Duke game is going to be fun, so I'll see y'all when that happens. Okay, so I was wrong again. Uh, if you didn't watch the Final Four, uh, Kansas won, and then in a very close game between Duke and North Carolina, North Carolina won, and I said Duke would go all the way. So, um, so now in the championship, uh, as of recording this, they're playing today. Uh, it is North Carolina and Kansas. And I know whichever one I pick, the other team will win. So I'm really not going to pick one, but I do want North Carolina to win just because it's close to us. So I guess I'll report back tomorrow and see if I'm probably wrong. <sighs> what did I say? What did I say? Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the NCAA tournament of 2022 is Kansas, uh, which is not what I said. Um, so congratulations to Kansas. Uh, my mom won the bracket that we were doing, so go mom. Um, but it was fun to be wrong all this time um, and just to see uh, what happens. Maybe next year, uh, but probably not, but all right. And now for the premiere of the award-winning show, Easter Time with Brady. You know what time it is. Easter time. Um, I never have these planned. I really need to plan these out. Easter's one of those holidays where it doesn't really have a, a set date. It's like the third week of so-and-so. Um, so on Easter to this year, uh, it's my mom's birthday. So congratulations, mom. Happy birthday. Um, speaking of birthdays, as of filming this, Today is my birthday, so happy birthday me. Um, but Easter is also a time, you know, with the Easter bunny and Easter eggs, which I never got. Um, Easter's, Easter's don't lay eggs. Bunnies don't lay eggs. So I don't know who came up with that, but there we go. Now, with all that being said, I still do enjoy Easter. Um, I like the colors. Uh, that's not it though. I do like, uh, me personally, I do like what it represents and everything, but I also like the Easter eggs, finding candy, and the candy during Easter, like uh, jelly beans and stuff. Also, jelly beans are really good. If you don't think jelly beans are good, I mean, do what you want, but come on. Except black licorice. I understand black licorice. Um, but anyways, and the bean boozled ones. I don't, nobody likes those. I think that's the reason. Um, I need to cut my hair. Um, but anyways, Easter is fun, and I hope you had a good Easter if it's already passed, or if it's coming up, I hope you have one. I think I just said the same thing, but that's whatever. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the story time. I didn't really tell you a story, but um, have I ever really told a story? Um, so I hope you have a good one, and I hope to see you in the next episode.